क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूलास दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड टू सॉल्व द चैप्टर इंटीग्रेशन सो लेट अस सी द लिस्ट ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूलास एंड फॉर दैट यू कैन टेक अ पेन एंड पेपर so in general we have total 33 different types of formulas that are seen during solving this chapter so let us see one by one integration of dx that will give you x plus c the second formula is integral of k dx that we have already seen in the rules of integration if a constant is multiplied just take it outside so k times we have integral of dx that will give you kx plus c the third formula we have integral of x raised to n dx which is a algebraic function whose integral is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c the next formula we have integral of 1 by x now integral of 1 by x will be equal to log x as derivative of log x is 1 by x similarly integral of 1 by x will give you log x plus c now the next two we have exponential functions so integral of e raised to x will give you e raised to x plus c but integral of a raised to x will be a raised to x divided by log a plus c the next we have logarithmic function integration of log x will give you x log x minus x plus c now the next six formulas are similar to the chapter derivatives just take the anti derivative so integration of cos x will give you sin x plus c but integration of sin x will give you minus cos x plus c if you find integral of sec square x that will give you tan x plus c but integration of cos x square x will give you minus cot x plus c as you can see on the right hand side the functions we have will be the derivative on the left hand side so the reverse of it will be integration followed by integration of sec x into tan x will be sec x plus c while integration of cos x into cot x will be minus cos x plus c now further we have integration of tan x that is equal to log of sec x while integration of cot x will give you log of sin x plus c the last two formulas we have is integration of sec x that is log of sec x plus tan x plus c while the alternate formula is log of tan pi by 4 plus x by 2 plus c similarly integration of cos x will give you log of cos x minus cot x plus c while its alternate formula is also log of tan x by 2 plus c now let us see the anti derivative for the inverse function we have seen derivatives of inverse function like sin inverse x cos inverse x tan inverse x so their integrals will again give you the inverse trigonometric function so if i say integral of 1 upon under root 1 minus x square that is sin inverse x plus c but if i change the sign it will give you minus cos x plus c but after changing the sign you can directly write it as minus cos inverse x plus c so we have two answers for integral of 1 upon under root 1 minus x square again we have two answers for integral of 1 upon 1 plus x square it will give you tan inverse x or you can write minus cot inverse x plus c while the remaining two that is integral of 1 upon x under root x square minus 1 will give you sec inverse x plus c or minus cos inverse x plus c now in formula number 24 we have integral dx upon under root a square minus x square the answer will be sin inverse x by a plus c the next formula is integral dx upon under root x square plus a square that will give you log of x plus under root x square plus a square plus c just if you change the sign that will give you integral dx upon under root x square minus a square that is log of x plus under root x square minus a square plus c so for these two the format remains the same the next two type we have integral dx upon a square minus x square that is equal to 1 upon 2a log of a plus x upon a minus x plus c but if we have 1 upon x square minus a square then its answer will be 1 upon 2a log of x minus a upon x plus a plus c further we have integral of dx upon x under root x square minus a square whose integral will be 1 upon a sec inverse x by a plus c now the last three formulas of the chapter we have integral of under root a quadratic equation so we have three different types of forms one is x square minus a square other is a square minus x square and third one is x square plus a square now to memorize these formulas it is very lengthy so the observation skill is very important as you can see in all the three formulas the first term is same that is x by 2 x by 2 x by 2 followed by the same integral like if you have on the left hand side under root a square minus x square on the right hand side also you will have x by 2 under root a square minus x square 
for under root x square plus a square you will have x by 2 under root x square plus a square and for x square minus a square we will have x by 2 under root x square minus a square now further will be followed by the sign of a if you can see in under root a square minus x square and in under root x square plus a square the sign of a is positive so we'll continue by a positive sign and the next three terms will be same that is plus a square by 2 in all the three formulas so the first formula that is integral under root a square minus x square that will give you x by 2 under root a square minus x square plus a square by 2 followed by we have sin inverse x by a plus c in the second we have integral under root x square minus a square dx that is again x by 2 under root x square minus a square here since a is negative we have minus a square by 2 log of x plus under root x square minus a square and in the last case we have integral under root x square plus a square dx again where a is positive so we have x by 2 under root x square plus a square plus a square by 2 log of x plus under root x square plus a square plus c i hope friends you should understand this trick in order to memorize these three formulas thank you for watching this video stay tuned with egida and subscribe to egida